Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perek Shvi'i, Chapter 7, Page Mem Vav Aleph, Daf Aleph, that's Chapter 7, Page 46a, from the top. Rabbi Zera Chalash, Rabbi Zera was once sick. Al Gabi Rabbi Abba, or Rabbi Abba, who came in to visit him, Kabila they accepted upon himself. Uh, so Rabbi Zerah accepted upon himself a vow if the small man of the singed thighs will recover oh sorry this is um, Rabbi Abach who made the vow um, so uh, oh, this is interesting the uh, the if the small man of the singed, singed thighs will recover, Avidna Yomatava, the Rabbanan, <coughs> I'll make a festival for the rabbis. Uh, there's a note here that uh, we're told in Bab of Metzia 85a that every 30 days Rabbi Zerah will set himself in a burning oven to check whether he was vulnerable to fire. And this would determine whether the fire of Gehinnom would ultimately have any effect on him. Never was he harmed at all by the fire of the oven, except once when his thighs were singed due to the influence of an evil eye that had been set upon him. On account of this incident, Rabbi Zera uh, was called the small man of the singed thighs. Um, that would be Katina Kharich Shake. So, uh, if he recovers, he'll make a festival for the rabbis. Eat pach, uh, he recovered, Rabbi Zera recovered. Avad zildatah lechul hu rabbanan, Rabbi Ahba, who made a feast for all the rabbis. Kimata l'mishri, when it came to start the meal. Ama leila Rabbi Zera, Rabbi Ahba said to Rabbi Zera, Lishri lan mar, please start the meal for us, meaning uh, please make a moti. Amale, Rabbi Zerah replied, Lo savar la mar lahad Rabbi Yochanan damar. Does Master not hold of that, uh, uh, of that which Rabbi Yochanan said, uh, who said, Ba'al habait botzea, the host uh, does hamotzi, or breaks, botzea is breaks the bread. Shara lehu, Rabbi, Ahu, Rabbi Abba who started the meal, obviously he, um, uh, he broke the bread. Kimata levaruchei, and when it came time for Birkat Amazon, Amar Le Rabbao, Rabbi Abahu said to Rabbi Zerah, Nevarech lan mar, uh, let Master recite Birkat Amazon for us. Amar Le Rabbi Zerah said to him, Lo savar la mar la hadirav huna de min bavel de amar, doesn't Master hold that, that which Rav Hun of Bavel who said, Botzea Mevarech, the one who breaks recites Birkat Amazon, the Ihu commands Virale and Rabbi Abahu, who does he hold like? Ki had Amar Rabbi Yochanan Mishum Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai. He holds like that which Rabbi Yochanan said in the name of Rabbi Shimon ben Shimon ben Yochai. Bal habayit botzea ve'oreach mevarech. The host breaks and the guests and the guest recites Berakat Amazon. Bal habayit botzea. The host breaks the bread. Kadeshiv Tabain Yafa, so he should break it generously and give the guests large pieces, that is. But Oreach Mevarech and the guests recite Bikaramazon. Kadeshiv Arech Balabai, so that he should bless the host, that is, he should bless, bless, her, bless the host during Bikaramazon. Man Varech, what does the guest bless the host with? Yehiratzon, this is what he blesses the host with. Yehiratzon may, be the, may the, be the will of God. Shelo yevosh ba'alabait ba'alam hazeh, that the host not be shamed in this world. Velo yikalem lo lahava, nor humiliated in the world to come. The rabbi mosif ba'advarim, and rabbi would add uh, to the blessing. V'yitzlach me'od bechol nechasavim, may he be very successful with all his possessions. V'yu nechasavu unechasenu motzim. Lachim or Krovim Lair, and made possessions and our possessions be successful and close to the city. What does that mean? Uh, so it's this in rela relation to real estate holdings. Uh, it is always, Rashi says it's always an advantage to have uh, your holdings or your real estate 
within your town or within a within proximity to the town, so you can oversee them. The Ali Shlot Satan Lo Bemasaya Davi Lo Bemasaya Daniel, and may no evil impediment reign over his handiwork nor over our handiwork. But Ali is is Daker Lo Lefanavi Lo Lefaneno, and may there not appear neither before him nor before us. Shum Dava Hirhu Chet Va Avireva Avon any sort of sin, transgression, or iniquity. Ma'atav Adolam from this time forever. Uh, this blessing is actually quoted in Shulchan Aruch. Ad hechan birkatam hazimun. Until where uh, does the zimun blessing, uh, where does it go to? Rav, meaning where does it end? Rav Nachman, Amar Rav Nachman says, Ad nevarech, until let us bless. Until nevarech. The Rav Sheshit, Amar Rav Sheshit says, Ad hazan, until the end of the hazan blessing. Shall we say this is a Tanai dispute? The Tanai Chada for a certain advisor. Bir Katamazon Shnei Moshe Shal Bir Katamazon is in two or three blessings. The Tanya Yidach in order to have another brayer. Shlosha Ba'Arba'a. Bir Katamazon is either three or four blessings. Savruhu Savruha Dechulil Alma Hatov the Hametiv Lav De Oraita He. Presumably, we'll agree that the Hatov Hametiv is not biblical. Meaning, it's not from the Torah. My love, Baha Kamiflage, it is it not that uh, they disagree about the following, uh, meaning the Tanim disagree about the following point. Man Damashtayim Bashalosh, the one who said two or three, Kasava Ad Hazan, hold until the end of Hazan. Whereas the one who said three or four, Kasava ad nevarech holds until uh, until the word nevarech. Lo. No. Rav Nachman metaret letamei. Rav Nachman can explain in accordance with his reasoning. Rav Shesha metaret letamei, and Rav Shesha can explain in accordance with his reasoning. Rav Nachman metaret letamei. Rav Nachman can explain in accordance with his reasoning. Dechule alma ad nevarech. All agree until nevarech. Manda mashlosh va'ava shapir. The one who says that it's three or four uh, is also is also fine. Is also well, uh, meaning that we understand that. Manda mashlosh va'shalosh. And the one who said it's two or three, amalach. Uh, Rav Nachman will tell you, Aha, Bevir Kapoali Maskinan. Here we are dealing with uh, the blessing of laborers, Da Amarma, and the Master said, Poter Bahazan, a laborer, when a laborer, Poter Bahazan, he begins with a Hazan, uh, which is, uh, if you remember in the uh, Amazon. The first, uh, the first bracha has the word hazan in it. So when a laborer recites Birkan Amazon, he begins with the hazan blessing. He includes, uh, he includes the bracha Bonei Yerushalayim in the blessing of the land. So therefore, the uh, for in the Karamazon, a laborer says two blessings, and uh, if they have a zimon, they uh, add the third blessing. Rashi should metaret letame. Rashi should can explain in accordance with his reasoning. Dekule al ma'ad hazan all agree until the end of the hazan blessing. Mandamashtein veshalosh shapir. The one who says two or three is also 
is also fine, is also good. And the one who said three or four, Kesava Hatov Gametiv, the writer here, he holds Hatov Gametiv is biblical. Amar Rav Yosef Ted Havet Hatov Gametiv Lav Doraita, you may know that Hatov Gametiv is not biblical. Sharei Poli Mokrimota, for labor is deleted. Amar Rabbi Tzach Bar Shmuel Bar Matzah Mishmei Derav Rabbi Tzach Bar Shmuel Bar Matzah Said in the name of Rav Tell the day Hatov Meitiv Love Dorai So you may know that Hatov Meitiv is not biblical Sharei Poteach Ba Bevaruch For one begins it with the phrase Blessed They begin it with with the phrase Baruch The Ein Chotem Ba Bevaruch And does not conclude it with Also with another Baruch With a with a bracha at the end Kedatane Kedatanya because it was taught in a baraisa, kol habrachot kulan patech bahen bevaruch, vechotim bahen bevaruch. All blessings begin with blessed and conclude with blessed. Chutz mi birkat haperot or birkat mitzvot, except the blessing over fruits and the blessing over mitzvot. Or veracha hasmucha lechevrata, a blessing that follows another. Or veracha achrona shibri kriyat shma, and the blessing that follows the recitation of the shma. Yesh mehen shepatech bahen bevaruch. Some of these begin with blessed. The Ein Chotem Bebaruch, and do not conclude with Baruch. Let's go to um, Daf Bet. And some of these conclude with blessed. The Ein Potech Bevaruch, but do not begin with blessed. The Hatov Ameti Potech Bevaruch, the Ein Potech Bevaruch, and Hatov Ameti begins with blessed, but does not conclude with blessed. Mi Klaud de Viracha Bifne Atzmahi. This implies that it is an independent blessing and therefore instituted by the rabbis as opposed to being of biblical origin. Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak, Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak said, "Ter de da Hatov Meitiv Lav Dalraita." You may know that Hatov Meitiv is not biblical. Sharei Okrin Ota Bevet Ha Evel, for it is deleted in a house of mourning. Kidetanya, as it was taught in Brisa, Mahem Mourning Bevet Ha Evel. What do they say in the house of mourning? Baruch Hatov Meitiv. Blessed who is good and who confers good. Rabbi Akiva Omer, Rabbi Akiva says, Baruch Dayan Haimet. And uh, uh, Rabbi Akiva says, uh, Blessed uh, the true judge. Hatov Ametiv, Ein Dayan Emet Lo. Hatov Ametiv, indeed, uh, don't we recite the true judge? Meaning we don't need to say, um, Baruch Dayan Haimet. Ela ema af hatov ametiv. Rather, we say that also that um, a mono also says hatov ametiv. Mazutra ikla levei rav Ashi. Mazutra was visiting the house of rav Ashi. It rabe milto. An unfortunate event happened to rav Ashi. Uh, Patach Uvarich, he began and recited the blessing. Hatov Ametiv, who is good and can, who confers good. El Emet Dayan Emet, the true uh, God, the true judge. Shofet Betzedek, who judges with righteousness. Lokerch Bemishpat, who takes away with justice. 
be shalit be olamo la'asot bo kirtono and he rules his world doing with it as he chooses kichol derachav mishpat for all his ways are just she'akol shelo since all his va'anachmo amo v'adav and we are his nation and his servants u'va'kol anachmo chayvim la'adot wali lo ulvarcho and in all uh, we are obligated to thank him a blessing Godab Pratzot Pratzot be Israel, he who mends the breaches within Israel, who Igdor et Pirza Azot be Israel Lachaim, should mend this breach within Israel to life. So this is um this is the uh, this is the additional blessing that uh, that was the additional blessing that uh, I believe Rav Ashi recited um, in place of a standard fourth blessing of Bikan Razon. Uh, that, that was in a, because one of his relatives died and he was in a house of mourning. Back into the Gemara, Lehechan Hulchazer, to where does he return? Um, so this is in relation to the Zimun again, uh, meaning if uh, if he interrupted his meal to join two others in a Zimun, uh, where in Birkana Muzan does he return when he uh, completes his own meal? I'm just going to scroll down. Rav Zavid Mishmei to Abaye Amar, Rav Zavid said in the name of Abaye, Choza La Rosh returns to the beginning, in the beginning of Berkhan Razon, Rabbanan Amre, but the rabbi say, the Makom Shabbasak to the place where he left off. The hill Chatzala Makom Shabbasak and the Halacha is to the place where he left off. Uh, this would be the point. Uh, so the place where he left off is the blessing of the land, Al Haaretz, La Lamazon. Uh, this is the point where he stopped listening to the leader's recitation of Birkan Amazon. The rabbis maintain that by listening to the recitation of Hazan at the time of Zimon, he discharged the obligation that devolved upon him by eating a group of three. And as far as the food that he ate after the Zimon is concerned, since it was not eaten in, in a group of three, the standard Birkan Amazon, the standard Birkan Amazon, is sufficient. That's uh, what Rashi says. Ama le resh galuta le rav sheshe. The resh galuta said to rav sheshe, "Ach al gad rabbanim kesheshe atun." Although you are elderly rabbis, per parsa e betzarches oda bike beki e minaye. The Persians are more proficient than you in dinner etiquette. Is manshehen shte mitot when there are two couches? Gadol meser barosh the more prominent reclines first on the couch. The sheni lo lemaala hamenu and the second to him uh, reclines above him, meaning the second in prominence. Of is manshehen shalosh and when there are three couches, gadol meser beemsa the most prominent reclines in the middle. Sheni lo lemaala hamenu. The second to him above him, Shlishilo Lamata Himeno, and the third to him uh, below him. Amale, he said to Rish Galuta, the Chibae Ishta Ishta Uye Bahade, but when the most prominent one wants to speak with his second in prominence, Mitarate Tirotse Vayativ Umishtae Bahade, he must straighten up and sit and talk with him. So it would be more appropriate if the second in prominence reclined on the bed uh, below the superior. Amale, he said to Rav Shani, Shani Parsae, the Persians are different. Demachave le demachav, because Persians signal with hand gestures. <coughs> so when the superior one signals with his hand, the second in prominence who is facing him will see the signals. Maim Rishonim 
this is another uh, Persian dinner protocol, uh, the water that precedes the meal, from where do they begin, uh, meaning who starts washing their hands first, Amalevra replied, Min Hagadol from the most prominent. Yeshev Yeshev Gadolvi Shmo Yadav Ad Shinotlin Kulan must the most prominent one sit and guard his hands until all the others wash. Amalei he said to Rav Sheshet, La Altar Mayetehu Takakame immediately after he washed his hands, immediately they bring the table before him and he begins eating. I mean, he doesn't wait for the other people. My macharonim, the water that follows the meal, the hechan machilin, from where do they begin? Amalei, the Rish Galuda replied, Min hakatam, they begin washing from the least prominent. Begadol yativ yadav mezuhamot ad shenotlin kulan. Must the most prominent one sit with his hands soiled until they are washed? Amalei, he says to Rosh Lo mesalke taka mikame ad denimte uh, ad denim sorry lo mesalke taka mikame ad denimte denimti maya lagave they do not remove the table from before him until the water reaches him meaning he continues to eat while the others wash their hands and then he doesn't sit idle. I'm a Rav Sheshit. Rav Sheshit said. And, um, uh, I'm just going to scroll down. I'm a Rav Sheshit. Rav Sheshit said. I'm a Masnita Yadana. I know the Raisa. The Tanya Uz taught in the Raisa. Kate said, "Say the Hasiba. What is the procedure for reclining?" Bisman. Kate said, "Say the Hasiba. What is the procedure for reclining?" Meaning for a meal. Bisman shehen shdemi taught when there are two couches. Gadol uh, mesi barosh. The more prominent reclines first. Vesheni lo lamata himeno, and the second to him on the couch below him. Bisman shehen shalosh mitzvot when there are three couches. Gadol mesi barosh. The most prominent reclines first. Sheni lo lamala hemenu. Second to him above him. Shlishi lo lamata hemenu. The third to him below him. Maim harishanim. The water that precedes the meal. Uh, meaning for washing hands, washing bread that is. Matchilim min hagadol. We begin from the prominent. Maim acharanim. And the water that follows uh, after the meal. Bisman shehem chamisha matchilim min hagadol. When there are five, that is five people. We begin, or, uh, when there are five people or less, we begin from the most prominent person. And when there are more than five, um, or even 100 people, we begin from the least prominent until we reach the five most prominent. And we then go back and begin from the most prominent. Into the place where the water that follows uh, uh, so uh, the place where the where that where that water um, returns to well, this is for the last five people the shambra chazeret. Um, so that person in the last five, uh, that first person is the most prominent, and that's the person who says the Birkan Amazon. Lasham bracha chazera. There is uh, there is the the bracha. Mesayale larav. This supports rav. Dama rav chia bar ashi amar rav. Rav chia bar ashi said in the name of rav. Kol hanotel yata bachronat chila. Whoever washes his hands first at the end. Meaning, whoever is the first of the final five, who is the is the one designated to say the Bikaramazon. That is to um, do the Zimun and recite Bikaramazon out loud. Rav Rabbi Chia Havu Yatvei Besudata Kame de Rabbi. Rav and Rav Chia were seated at a meal before Rabbi. 
Amale Rabbi Larav, Rabbi said to Rav, Ko Meshi Yedach, Raz Moshe hands, Chazye Deka Maratet. Rav Chia saw that Rav was apprehensive. Amale Rav Chia said to him, Bar Pachte, son of a nobleman, Ayen Bevir Kadmezon Akam Alach, prepare a Birkat is what Rabbi meant to tell you. Meaning, one who washes his hands first with my machronim is the one who says the Birkan Mazon. Tanu Rabbanan. The rabbis taught in Abraisa. Ein mechabdin, we do not accord honor. Lo bidrachim, neither on roads. Velo bivikshorim, nor when, nor when uh, passing over bridges. This means uh, when two people encounter each other on the road, the less one does not offer the more prominent one to proceed before him uh, because we don't want to want to disrupt the pedestrian traffic in the cities and slow down the travel on the highways. Um, although, the part, and this is a bit different when two travellers set out together, uh, the greater person is allowed to proceed first. And when passing over bridges, this is due to the dangers associated with being delayed in crossing over a bridge. Uh, just at the top of the next page, Relo Beadaim Mezor Hamot, nor with soiled hands. Uh, this is in regard to the water that flows in meal. meaning it is an honour to be told to wash one's soiled hands first. Nevertheless, the most prominent member of the group is the first of the final five to wash with my Malkronim. This is not done to a him honour, but rather to give him the opportunity to prepare, to prepare for the recitation of Rikar Razan.